what's going on YouTube? Uh, Machete Mike here, LunarLights.com. So I'm gonna be doing just a simple tutorial for you guys, nothing too difficult. I am using uh, version 2.83, and let's just get started. Okay, so first of all, what you wanna do is go to Edit, go down to your Preferences, and when your Preferences loads up, give it a minute here. Go to I think to input once your preferences opens up, and at the very top under keyboard you'll see emulate number pad, and I want you to tick that because that's going to be important here. All right, let me turn my screencast keys on so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now my screencast keys has a tendency to turn off, so if I notice it, then I'll I'll let you guys know what I did. Okay, so. This moment here, we'll go to Shift A. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not coming on. What is wrong with this thing? Oh, I didn't turn it on. <laughs> okay, so Shift A, and we're going to add a UV sphere. And once we load the UV sphere in, we're not going to do anything. But we're going to go down to where it says add UV sphere and segments. We're going to give it segments of 64 and then rings. We're going to give it a rings of 32. Okay, and then we're going to go into edit mode. Hit number pad 7 to go in the top view. And then we're, oh, what did I do? Oh, okay. So, number pad seven. There's a middle row. Go over here. And then we're going to go down to our materials uh, properties. Click new. And where it says base color, we're going to click this little icon next to it. And then we're going to do image texture. Image texture. Excuse me. All right. And before we do that, we're going to split the screen here. And then we're going to open Shader Editor. No, 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 not Shader Editor. We're going to open UV Editor. And then we're going to go and... Well, well before we do all of this, I, I always end up getting this mixed up. We're going to go back into object mode sorry shade smooth and then we're going to move this out of the way okay go back in the end top view shift a add a plane scale it up i don't know why that jumps in the way okay we're going to scale it up by eight so just hit S and 8 once you get your plane in. And then we're going to also add in a circle. And then we're going to scale this or bring this up here. And we're going to click S to scale it. Then we're going to go into edit mode. Hit F to make it a face. Go back into object mode. Shift A, add text, and we're going to go into edit mode again, and then push number 8, I don't know why my voice is cracking, but hit 8, bring it up, bring it up, I don't know why my voice is doing all of that, but anyway, then we're going to go over here to our text properties, and then we're going to align it so under paragraph and alignment you'll see horizontal click on it and then we're going to select center and then under that vertical we're going to click center okay so now everything is centered so now what we're going to do is press Z and go into material preview and we're going to start we're going to give our playing here a color so nothing nothing crazy just gonna go and give it a or scroll down to black 
Actually, no. We're going to give it any mission. Now, I don't really know if giving it any mission does anything different. But that's just what we're going to do here. If you notice that there's no big of a difference, then do what you do. But actually, you know what? I do notice there is a bit of a difference. So, yeah, emission and then give it a color of black. And we're actually going to scale this number up right here quite a bit. And then click new for our text, hit emission, and then make it black. And the plane under or circle under it, emission, make it white, but give it a strength of 50. All right. That's that. And we're just going to highlight all of it. And then. Actually, no, we're not going to hide it. Uh, what are they? Okay. No, that's not it. I forgot how to um, unhide it, if that's even a word. But yeah. We're going to actually bring our camera in. So bring a camera in, and then we're going to go over to view, and lock camera to view, and also what we're going to do is go down to this little printer thing, icon or whatever you want to call it, and then we're going to make these two numbers the same, so 1920 by 1920 to make it a square. And we're just going to bring our camera in alignment and then use our middle mouse wheel to scroll down. Okay. And then, excuse me, I'm sorry. And then we are going to bring in a light, make it a point. And then give it a strength of whatever I know. I have to sometimes bring it all the way up in order for my view options to be lit. So, all right. And then also what we're gonna do is go to mesh, add in a cube, scale it up all the way until our camera is in view. Like so I'm gonna yeah, okay yeah so I'm gonna make sure that this area over our sphere is not within our cube. All right, and we're gonna highlight the the light, and bring it up a little more, and then now what we're gonna do is render image. So once everything renders, we're going to save it. Save as, and I have my options down here. Okay, so I already have it saved here. So well, I'm not going to actually save it, but I want you guys to create a folder if that's what you decide to do. And I want you guys to save it here, okay? So I'm not going to save it since I already have it saved. And once again, I still don't know why my voice is cracking. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring our sphere into view, and we're going to go back to our materials properties, and wherever you saved the 8-ball uh, material, I want you to click it. Now we're going to split our view, and then go to... UV edit. I see what I should have did was done it while this was in view, but where? Okay, look, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, go back. I'm gonna remove it. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. 
Okay, we're gonna remove it. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is click on this little icon, go to image texture, open where we saved our eight ball. Well, it's not doing anything, so I guess I gotta do it the hard way. Well, not really. Let me see if it uh, works this way. Okay, now I'm gonna definitely have to uh, go in. There's a way to do it without having to click for the eight ball over here, but anywho. We're going to go over here to UV, project from view bounds, scroll in so we can see. Also, what we're going to do is, so hey, what is all of that right there? Uh, let me see. Remove double. I have no clue why this is doing that. So, yeah, I have no clue why this is uh, doubling up. So, oh, no wonder our mesh is um, kind of weird. I wonder what happened to the mesh. Okay, we're gonna go back. Uh, gonna go back in. And yeah, I don't know why that's looking like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go find where I saved. No, because I've done this before as a practice run, so new folder. Okay, and this is the one I'm going to use, hopefully. Why is this looking like it's looking? Huh. I have no clue why this is looking funky like this. Okay. That's not it. So. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna bring in a whole new sphere. I'm gonna uh, speed through it so you guys won't have to see this again. So we have it here, but now what we're going to do is go to UV, project from view bounds, and there it is looking like it's supposed to look. But over here, what we're going to have to do is go there, click in it. select A to select all and then hit S because you're going to want to scale this up quite a bit and if yours is not in alignment I want you guys to push a G and just move it because sometimes it will not be aligned so Alright, there, that looks about right. So, now what we're going to do is move that over, go back into object mode, and shades move if you haven't already done that. And now what we're going to do is go over here to our materials properties, scroll down, and just bring the roughness all the way down. And there you guys have it. You have your eight ball. But I kind of want this number uh, eight to be bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back 
our UV edit. Okay, bring back the UV editor. Scroll back up here. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to actually go where I saved the new one that I just did. Because I kind of want the 8 to be bigger. Actually, you know what? I didn't even save that one. I forgot. <laughs> So, once again, I'm going to... Okay, this one looks bigger. Okay, there we go. So now, this is bigger. We're going to go in and grab the same one. I don't know why I'm talking so proper, but give me a minute. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Don't mind me. Okay. Scroll gonna hit S so we can scale this down quite a bit all right actually I need to go in the top view so that I can and once again if you don't remember it's um, number pad, number pad 7 so you can go in the top view bring it up just a little bit just a little bit all right and that no I'm still kind of too big I kind of want this to be different than not different but smaller okay that should be cool yeah that's good okay so now we're gonna get rid of this screen right here and there it is you have your eight ball you guys you have it Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way out like an idiot. Okay, uh, I'm going to get rid of this. Hit H to hide it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to move that. So move it and then hide it with H. And then we're going to go into top view again, bring in a plane. We're going to scale it up. Once again, S and then 8. And then we're going to bring in another plane. Scale this out along the X axis. So S, X, and scale it out. Then X, oh, then S and Y. And then scale it out. And then actually bring it up. No, not that. We're going to bring this one up. Alright. And then we're going to bring in another circle. So bring it out. Go into edit mode. And then hit F to make it a face. Go back into object mode. We're going to scale it up way too much. Bring it down. Alright. And then scale it up. And then we're going to bring in a text, go into edit mode, and number 10, bring that up as well, All right. and just like we did before, we're going to go over here to our text properties, and then over here in horizontal, we're going to center that and then vertical, we're going to center that as well. And then we're going to scale our number up. So now we're going to give this an emission and then give it a strength of 50. Okay, so now we see our number that we're going to center that just a little bit more alright and then on our stripe give it an emission make it blue and then we're going to bring it down quite a bit to about right there and then our bigger plane we're going to give that an emission and a strength of 50
Wait, did I give this a strength? No, we're going to actually give this a strength of 50 and then bring it down. quite a bit. Not all the way to the black, but just about right there. And then our number, once again, the emission kind of gives it a different, I don't want to say feel because I don't feel like it's a right, the right word for it, but y'all understand what I'm trying to say. And then we're going to bring in our cube again. Scale it up, and then we're going to bring in a camera, control alt zero, and then we're going to use our middle mouse wheel to scroll down. If you guys still have your lock, um, lock to camera view on, then all you need to do is just use your middle mouse to scroll in. And we're going to move that light out of the way, and we're going to render this. Okay, and it should look like that. And once again, I already have this saved, so I'm not going to save this. <clears throat> All right, we're going to actually get out of... I'm going to move that out of the way, since now I don't have any reason to save this. Get rid of all of that, purge everything. Since we didn't get rid of the default cube, I know you guys wanted me to do that, but for the sake of this tutorial, I did not do that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just get rid of this. But what ultimately what you guys want to do is go through the steps of getting a new sphere and all of that and then shade smoothing it and then what you want to do split the view again go into UV edit edit mode top view and then go to where you have the number 10 saved. I already had it saved over here. So this is the one that I'll be using. Okay, yeah, so what you want to do, so you don't have to go into the, um, to click new over here, always be in edit, um, in edit mode when you bring in your um, texture. Or not your texture, but uh, your image or whatever. So now what we're gonna do, hit S, and we're going to scale this up quite a bit. About right there. Okay, and see how it's not aligned with our um, circle over here? We're going to hit G, and we're just going to move it. Alright, so that looks about right. Okay, but what I want you guys to know is that, well, you know, that ain't really, ain't really do anything, so yeah, but there was this one tutorial, and I'm going to actually link this tutorial at the bottom, because, yeah, actually, yeah, you don't really need to do anything, once you project it from view bounds, everything is lined up, okay, so I'll, I'll actually show you guys what this other tutorial had done. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to highlight it. Go into front view with uh, number, pad zero, uh, number pad one. And we're going to go into transparent mode and wire mode. We're going to get rid of this and highlight this. Okay, so ultimately, ultimately, I can't speak, when you guys, or if you guys have followed this tutorial, 
you were told to highlight just the top view. You don't actually have to do that. Let's see, I mean, uh, okay, we're gonna go into. Come on. Why is that so? There. And move it. Okay, so we're going to get out of there. to select I have no clue oh yeah because I am in well anyway when you highlight the top it won't be aligned you know you'll have to do all of this um you have to highlight the top and then highlight the bottom and then come into here and then do all of your adjustments but you don't have to actually do that and I don't know if any other tutorials have done this already and if they had then you guys probably already know if you've done this before, but for those of you that haven't, you actually don't have to go in and highlight and do all the extra stuff. All you got to do is just go into edit mode, make sure everything is selected, and then once you go into UV and project from view bounds, everything will be aligned so you won't have to do all that extra alignment. So we're going to get rid of this screen over here go back into object mode and then once again if you don't have yours if yours isn't shiny like mine is you're just gonna go in and bring that roughness down and there you guys have it you have your eight ball and your ten and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and do all of that for every one of your billiard balls or pool balls whatever you call it so yeah that is how you guys make your billiard balls i'm machete mike of lunarlights.com and this has been my first tutorial if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up and also share in the comments what you guys want me to do next if you guys want me to do um anything anything that you guys have in mind and ultimately guys remember I am still a beginner at this and my goal for this channel is to bring you guys beginners tutorials because I know a lot of channels here on YouTube when it comes to blender they tend to put tutorial in the title and it's not actually a tutorial so if you guys find any tutorials that you guys want in detail now once again remember I am a beginner still so we're all learning together at this point but yeah leave it all in the comments let me know if you like this video what I could ultimately do better to make these tutorials more fun for you guys to watch I mean over time you guys you guys are gonna see that my humor is gonna start to change up you know this is my first tutorial over here on this channel I've done I've been on YouTube for since 2014 but my humor is going to start to be more heightened in these tutorials as time goes along but I just want to bring my first tutorial for you guys clean cut and dry so once again I'm Machete Mike of LunarLights.com and this has been my first tutorial alright I'll see you guys in the next one